हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर कपिंद्र फ्रॉम किरोडिमल कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल लाइफ टेबल सर्वाइवरशिप कर एंड फैकेंडिटी टेबल अ पॉपुलेशन कैन बी डिफाइंड एज अ लोकेलाइज्ड ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स बिलोंगिंग टू द सेम स्पीशीज समटाइम्स फ्यू पॉपुलेशन शो डिस्टिंक्ट बाउंड्रीज like population of white footed mouse in sanford natural area however in other cases population did not have demarcated boundaries therefore it is randomly set by the convenience of the investigators for instance eastern chipmunk around homes hall the next step after defining the boundaries is the determination of a population size it can be done by either by counting all the individuals from a smaller sample area which can be extrapolated to the set boundaries or it can be done by capture recapture method the population biology is mainly concerned with the factors which can alter population size with time the important factors are mainly natality mortality growth of individual and reproductive success the strength of population ecology lies in the quantitative nature for example what will happen if survival rate of a bald eagle is decreased by 2% per year or if survival of juvenile salmon is increased by 0.5% how many adult salmons would reach to the maturity these simple questions can be answered by applying simple mathematics in the population ecology in this module we will understand the quantitative background for population ecology semilparous versus heteroparous life cycles some species like most invertebrates in the lifetime have only one reproductive event and in which one or both the parents die the reproductive efforts of these species spend enormous energy in order to produce large number of eggs while others like birds and mammals live to perform multiple reproductive events in their lives there is a large amount of variation within these two categories for example some species of semilparous organisms have overlapping generations of young ones as a result there may be one year two year or three year old individuals present in the population a common form of semilparity in insect of temperate region is an annual species in this case the insect overwinters as an egg or larval resting stage until spring then grows throughout the warm months and emerges into the reproductive adults adult mate and lay eggs that again remain dormant throughout the winter still other semilparous species complete several generations each summer it is easy to imagine then how the frequency of reproductive events the number of young produced in each event and the length of each generation can greatly influence how fast a population can grow life table mortality is one of the important parameter that derive population changes there are several kinds of questions such as is mortality more among young organisms does an old aged individual have high mortality than younger organisms we can answer these kind of questions by constructing a life table life tables were developed by human demographers particularly those working for insurance companies which have a vested interest in knowing 
how long people can be expected to live. Plants and animal populations may be composed of several type of individuals and in many any given analysis a demographer may group them together or may keep them separate. A life table is an age specific summary of the mortality rates operating on a cohort of individuals. A cohort may include the entire population or it may include only males or females individual born in a given year. It is widely used by the life insurance companies to determine the probability of survivorship for deciding the rate of premium. Ecologists use it in the study of natural populations. Raymond Pearl first used life cycle for Drosophila population obtained under laboratory condition. Generally, life tables of non-human populations are difficult to construct under field conditions. Constructing a life table is often a simple method for keeping track of birth, death and reproductive output in an investigating population. The following types of data have been used in general to determine ecological life table. Laboratory animals, life tables of laboratory animals of known age can be constructed by observing the number of individuals dying at regular interval till the population is finished. Survivorship directly observed. The information on the survival of a large cohort is followed at interval till its existence. Cornell in 1961 observed mortality on the barnacle at regular interval, which grew on rocks in Scotland in the autumn season to construct the life table. He did several experiments in which he removed one competing barnacle balanus balanoids from some rocks and then he counted the number of thalamus surviving once in a month. Age structure directly observed. This type of data can be used to construct the static life table particularly of trees birds, fishes and many more. The ecological information on age structure can be obtained by determining annular ring in the horns of sheep, growth rings in the cementum of teeth of ungulates and carnivores and annular rings on the scales of fishes. For example, in a pond we can get a sample of fish which can be used to determine the age of each fish by counting the annular ring on their scales. The same type of data can be obtained for tree rings. However, this type of data is not always preferred for constructing life tables. Age at death. This type of data can be used to construct the static life table. We assume that population size is constant over time and birth rate, death rate of population at each age interval remains constant. Sinclair in 1977 construct the life table of African buffalo by collecting 584 skulls that died due to natural cause. After that, he classified these skulls on the basis of sex and age. The age of the skull was determined by analyzing the annular ring on the horns. The estimation of age of young skull was difficult because they were fragile and more susceptible to carnivores and damage by environment. He observed the losses in first two year of life by directly observing the herd and obtain the 
mortality data. Types of life table. Human life table can be constructed on the basis of data of birth and death recorded by municipal committees under state government and by insurance companies. There are three types of life table. Horizontal life table or cohort or dynamic life table. It is a cohort life table follows the survival and reproduction of all members of a cohort from birth to death. A cohort is the set of all individuals born, hatched or recruited into a population during a given time interval. For example, it can be start with 1000 individuals and start observing the number of individuals dying at regular interval till the population is exhausted. It is usually applicable to short lived species and the generations are discrete. Vertical life table or time specific or static life table. It is a static life table which records the number of living individuals of each age in a population and their reproductive output. It is based on the assumption that each age class is sampled in proportion to its number in a population and age at death and that the death and birth rates are constant and the population is stable. Dynamic composite life table. The construction of this type of life table is similar as cohort life table. However, in this case the cohort is a composite of a number of animals marked over a period of years rather than at the time of birth only. The static and dynamic composite life tables are inaccurate, but the cohort life table gives a fair idea about the average conditions in the population. Life tables can be useful in comparing life history trends within the population and in between different population. Cohort or static life table that classify individuals by age are called age based life tables. In such life tables, individuals that lived less than 1 years are allotted age 0 and those who survived for 1 year or more but less than 2 year are assigned age 1 year and so on. However, size based and strategy based life table classify individuals by size or developmental stage rather than by age. The size based and stage based life tables are usually more useful and practical for studying those organisms in which it is difficult to classify them by age or whose ecological role mainly depends on size or stage rather than on age. Components of a life table. First column x gives age interval in time unit appropriate for the species. Second column nx give number of individuals surviving at that particular age interval. Third column lx gives proportion surviving it begins with 1000 individuals that enter the first age interval together and gives the number remaining at the beginning of each subsequent age interval. It is calculated by the formula L x equal to L x 1 divided by L n into 1 multiply by n 2. Fourth column d x represents number of individuals dying at each age interval 
out of the initial cohort of 1000 individuals. It is calculated by L x minus L in the bracket x plus 1. Fifth column E x denotes life expectancy that is how much longer an individual of a given age can be expected to live beyond its present age. It is calculated in three steps. First L x is average number of individuals alive. Calculate the proportion of survivors at the midpoint of each time interval that is capital L x is equal to L x plus L in the bracket x plus 1 divided by 2. Capital T x is the total lifetime remaining for all the individuals attaining the age sum all the capital L x values from the age of interest up to the oldest age that is capital T x is equal to summation of capital L x and finally, E x that is calculated by the formula capital T x divided by small l x. Construction of cohort life table. To build a cohort life table, for example, individuals born in the United States during the year 1900, the survival of these individuals were recorded from the beginning of 1901. 1902, 1903 and so on until all individuals were die. This record is called the survivorship schedule. Mostly life tables count only females and their female offsprings for those animals in which there are males and females and both of them are equal in number of each age. The resulting numbers are the same as if males and females were both counted. Most plants, hermaphrodites, animals and other organisms in which there is no sexual dimorphism, life table calculation may have to be adjusted. To make a life table for this simple life history, count the population size at each life stage and the number of eggs produced by the adults. The first column X denotes the age class and second column NX specify the number of individuals alive at the beginning of each age. These data can be used to calculate several life history parameters such as the proportion of surviving to each life stage, proportion of original cohort dying during each age and age specific mortality rate dying at each age which is helpful in locating the point where mortality is most intense. Cohort life table of Song Sparrow on Mandart Island, British Columbia. For constructing life tables, the first step is to decide age interval in which data can be placed. For instance, human and trees can be grouped at interval of 5 years. For birds, or deer population interval can be of one year and for rodents like field mice or annual plants the interval can be of one month. By making the age interval shorter we can analyze the mortality scenario in more details. The rate of mortality is expressed as a rate for the time interval between successive census stage of the life table. For example, in the table 78 percent of song sparrow died before reaching to age group 1. Life table of Alaskan population of doll mountain sheep is the most famous life table. 
the age of the sheep was estimated by the ring of the horn. Older the sheep, more bony rings. When sheep was either killed by a wolf or die due to some other reason, horn remains preserved in the soil. Adolf Murray collected many horns which provided exhaustive data of sheep age which died in an environment due to natural hazard including wolf predation. Construction of static life table. Several organisms have complex life histories especially for those organisms which are mobile and have higher longevity. Therefore, it is very difficult to follow all the members of a population throughout their survival. Therefore, there is another less accurate method called static or vertical life table. Instead of following a single cohort, the static life table compares population size from different cohorts across all range of ages at a single point of time. In such cases, population biologists often count how many individuals of each age are alive at a given time. In other words, they count the number of individuals of age 0 to 1 year, 1 to 2 year and so on in the population. These counts can be used as if they were counts of survivors in a cohort and the calculation is done in a similar way as that for a cohort life table. Static tables make two important assumptions. First, the population has a stable age structure that is the proportion of individuals in each age class does not change from generation to generation and second point the population size is or nearly stationary. Static life tables can also be made from estimating age at death for individuals from a population. This can be a useful technique for secretive large mammals like moose from temperate region where it is difficult to sample the living members. Because the highest mortality of large herbivores occur during winter and early spring survey of carcasses from starvation and predator can yield useful information in constructing a life table. Static life table is time specific stationary or vertical is calculated on the basis of cross section of population at a specific time. The above static life table is calculated on the basis of census data and mortality data of Canada female population in 2006. This data can be used to calculate the mortality rate and other life table component by assuming that the population is stationary. These two types of life table will be identical if the environment does not change from year to year and population is at in equilibrium. But normally birth rates and death rates do vary from year to year and consequently large differences exist between the two forms of life table. These differences can be easily understood in the case of human population. For example, static life table for human born in 1900 in the United States show what the survivorship would have been if the population had continued surviving at the rate observed in 1900. But the population did not retain the same rate due to development of medical facilities and sanitation in last 117 years which has increased the survival rate and life expectancy by more than 15 years. 
static life table assumes stationary population. Application of life table. Ecologist and demographers, scientists who study human population dynamic, have founded life tables useful in understanding patterns and causes of mortality, predicting the future growth or decline of populations and managing populations of endangered species. Predicting the growth and decline of human population is one very important application of life table. As you might expect whether the population of a country or region increases or decreases depends in part on how many children each person has and this age at which people die. But it may surprise you to learn that population growth or decline also depends on the age at which they have their children. A major part of this exercise will explore the effect of changing pattern of survival and reproduction on population dynamics. Another use of life table is in species conservation efforts such as in the case of loggerhead sea turtle of the southeastern United States. The loggerhead population is declining and mortality among loggerhead eggs and hatchlings is very high. These facts led conservation biologists to advocate the protection of nesting beaches. When these measures provide ineffective in halting the population decline, compiling and analyzing a life table for loggerheads indicated that reducing mortality of older turtles would have a greater probability of reversing the population decline. Therefore, management efforts shifted to persuading fishermen to install turtle exclusion device on their nets to prevent older turtle from drowning. Life tables are useful for computing the average longevity of a population, for showing the age composition of a population, for indicating critical stages in the life cycle at which mortality is high, for showing differences between species, for showing the success of the same species in different biotypes for furnishing information of value in the game and fix population and in control of pests. Now students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. A population is a localized group of individuals belonging to the same species. Some populations either have defined boundary while other do not have well demarcated boundary. Mortality is one of the important parameter which can explain the population change. A life table is an age specific summary of the mortality rates operating on a cohort of individual. Constructing a life table is often a simple method for keeping track of birth, death and reproductive output in an investigating population. Life tables are categorized into three types cohort life, life table follows the survival of all members of a cohort from birth to death. Static life table records the number of living individuals of each age in a population and dynamic composite life table is a composite of a number of animals marked over a period of years rather than at the time of birth only. To make a life table for simple life history, count the population size at each life stage and the number of eggs produced by the adults. The first column in the life table denotes the age class and second column specify the number of individuals alive at the beginning of each age. These data can be used to calculate several life history parameters such as proportion surviving to each life stage, proportion of original cohort dying 
during each age and age specific mortality rate dying at each age which is helpful in locating the points where mortality is most intense. Static table makes the assumption that the population has a stable age structure and the population size is stationary. Life tables are useful in understanding patterns and causes of mortality predicting the future growth or declining of populations and managing population of endangered species. Thank you.